Number 13. Two point charges are brought close together, increasing the force between them by a factor of 25. By what factor was their separation decreased? Okay. So, uh, by the way, number 10, I do a quick overview of the formulas uh, that I'm going to talk about here. So let me just write them. So you might want to check that out. Uh, but here, the formula is the force of attraction or repulsion between two point charges will be equal to the uh, electrostatic constant K multiplied by the product between the two charges Q1 and Q2, taking the absolute value of that product, and then dividing it by the radius or the distance between those objects squared. So in this problem, just similar to like I did in number 12, I can create some ratios here and all that. I'm not even going to bother, all right? It's actually much, uh, we can think about this in a more straightforward way. All you have to really do here is talk about how the force changes. It says it increases by a factor of 25. So literally just plug in 25 there, all right? Nothing happens to the charges there and, and the K, this is all constant in the numerator. So I literally put this over one, excuse me, put, put one in its place. And then divide it by now, we're trying to find what happens to the distance, right? So put r squared. Solve this thing for r squared. So r squared will be equal to 1 over 25, square root both sides, and you're going to come up now with a value of r, right? You can think about how to approach the square root of 1 divided by square root of 25, and basically it's going to come out to 1 fifth, all right? Which then, if you plug it into your calculator, is about 0.2. So what does this mean, okay? So... It says, what factor was their separation decreased by? So you can give, you can, you know, you can give the decimal value if you wanted, right? You can give this fraction, the fraction might make a little more sense, right? So their separation was decreased to one-fifth of the original, all right? So th that should hopefully... That should hopefully make sense, right? I mean, if you had, if you had, let's just say this. Let's pretend, let's pretend you had this. Let's pretend you had two objects here of equal charge, and they're five meters apart. And then what's going to happen is you're going to bring them closer together. So now they're only one meter apart, okay? If I plug in five, right, for my R value, it would have been, in terms of factor changes, it would have been 1 over 5 squared, right? And that would have been 1 25th. And notice that if I were to go from 1 meter to 5 meters, the force would have decreased by 1 25th of its original, right? So I'm just talking about going the opposite way. So it was reduced to 1 5th, right? So 5 and 1, we reduced it by 1 5th of the original. You would take the original value of 5 and then multiply it by 1 5th, and that's how you would come out to 1. So I'm just trying to give you a little example there, but... At, you know, anyway. All right. So, guys, thanks for tuning in. Hopefully this helps. Please remember to help us out and subscribe, and we'll see you soon. Take care.